Hello, everybody. Let's talk about benefits, specifically retirement. One of the most dramatic changes in the lifestyles of Americans will be their retirement. A generation ago, retirement income was on the rise. Today, it's plummeting. Social Security is broke, as we know, and 36% of retirees have saved nothing at all for retirement. The average person has only saved about 100000 for retirement, and they need over 250000 and in fact, one in six people on Social Security rely on Social Security for their entire income. What happened? What causes dramatic change in retirements? 50 years ago, there was a great trend to provide retirements to employees and to citizens of the United States. Today, fewer organizations offer retirement benefits. In fact, those organizations offering what's called a defined benefit, which means that you're going to get a certain amount of money on retirement, have fallen from 85% about 30 years ago to less than 15% today. Again, those organizations that provided you with the retirement fell from 85% to less than 15% in just about 30 years. However, if you work in the public sector, a teacher, a police officer, a firefighter, 90% of those working in the public sector still have a retirement paid for by their employer. It's a great discrepancy between those who work in the private sector and the public sector. What caused that? Well, that's the second issue, which is that there's just fewer jobs in the United States that pay uh, retirement. And the reason is, is because they can't compete. They can't compete against other countries that don't offer retirement. When other countries offer less retirement pro uh, than the United States, and that means the United States costs are higher. In fact, 70% of people in the United States work in a job that is in a low demand or an oversupply of labor in that position. And there's around 35 million jobs that are susceptible to outsourcing even today. So there's less demand for jobs today and more people wanting to do them. The result is there are fewer good jobs. The third reason is some people just thought that Social Security would be enough. They wouldn't have to save. They could rely on the government. We now find out that that's not true. The government's you and I, there's just simply not enough money to provide for the people who are on Social Security even today. There's about 60 million people on Social Security. When you think that there's about 300 million in the United States, you could see that it's a tremendous program. Add in welfare and health benefits, and you can see there's a great number of people on social benefits. Fourth reason that retirements and retirement incomes have went down it's because some people just didn't expect to live that much longer after 65. People forget that Social Security was created in 1935 and the date they came up with, which you get Social Security, which is 65 years old, most people didn't live that long. In reality, it was a retirement benefit that few would have received. Today, if you would have the same age as you would in 1935, factored into the increase in standard of living. The person who receives Social Security today versus 1935 would have to be 78 if you're a man and 82 if you're a woman. Less people are living past those ages, but many are living past 65. And that's put a tremendous burden on the system. And last, it goes to you and I, which means some people just lived at the expense of today rather than tomorrow. And you can live for today, but if you don't plan for tomorrow because you don't think there's going to be a tomorrow, if you think someone else is going to take care of it for you, it could have catastrophic ends if at the end of the day you happen to live longer. So there's five reasons that retirements are not as fruitful or plentiful or bountiful as they were 40 years ago. Fewer organizations offer retirement benefits because there's fewer jobs. Some thought Social Security would be enough, and some never expect, expected to live that much longer than 65. And finally, unfortunately, some live for today rather than planning for tomorrow. It's a tough time out there in today's world, but you can profit from it by planning. And one plan you have to have is for your own retirement. I wish you all the best.